so that there will be actual plants by the time it's warm enough to put them in the ground. Uh, some things should be started indoors, uh, some things can be um, started outdoors when it is warm enough. And today I'm going to show you two methods that I find very successful. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to Hey. Hey. Guys, this poem is, is... Awful. Why? It sucks. Oh, I think it's touching. It's full of cliches. And the attempted assonance is a mess. I think it's okay. Okay. When I found that poem this morning in the Tower Cafe, I just, it really, it made my day. Hey, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Whoever wrote that needs to kill himself. What? Did you think it was a suicide note? Oh, I thought it was a love poem. Whoever wrote this probably didn't want a whole group of people to read it. Seriously though, I've taken shits that sound better than this poem. What do you know about poetry? God, before television came and damned Western civilization, mankind read and wrote poetry. People would come from far and wide to hear poems read aloud. And I mean everyone. 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 As in, exactly how many? Everyone. I refuse to participate in a poetry slam. Alice, you need to spend less time talking to me and more time writing that poem. You can't just make someone write a poem. It has to come from some sort of genuine emotion. I got an emotion for you. Um, joy. Right, you're overflowing with joy because there's a poetry slam tonight and it's mandatory that all employees participate. What do you think? Too much? be too much. Yo, Adam, what rhymes with hermaphrodite? Hermaphrodite, uh, poetry slam tonight. Ha <laughs> ha, you, sir, are very right. <laughs> <laughs> are you having a bitches at that bird over there? Are you staring at Brenner? No. No. Stars and garters, Brian. Are you trying to brown tongue her? She has a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. I suppose she's with that wanker. But what about the poem, hmm? What about the poem? You think she wrote the poem? Are you off your trolley? The way she strops around here all marbled up when she's in nicking distance of you. It's as clear as a scouser is a shine talk. You think around me she gets marbled? Like a moony off the hook. Don't be daft, Brian. You think she wrote that poem about me? Do you think she wrote it about me? Yeah, of course she did, Brian. What should I do? Queer the lady's pitch and punt her a sonnet back. <laughs> so you think because she wrote a poem about me, I should just write a poem about her? Yeah. Blimey, Brian. You can be pretty dense sometimes. Hey, Alice. How many syllables are in a haiku? Alice, if I were to write a haiku about how many... Five in the first, seven in the second, five in the third. So, uh, Alice, would this be considered a haiku? There once was a lady named Alice, whose heart was made of pure malice. She worked the cafe all night and all day, and she was a huge cunt. No. Yeah, I think you're just jealous. I'd kick your ass in a poem competition. A poetry slam is a competition, idiot. You mean like a rap battle? No! You're in trouble God. now. I'm gonna wrap circles around no. your ass. No, it is not a rap Stop, battle! Stop, Alice. You can't hold me back. 
Peace out. Catch you on the flip side. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat Alice's ass. Alice's ass. Beat the can't do this. Hey, hey, yeah you can. What, what's going on? He's trying to pen a Jessie to get Fanny Adams dumped up. Oh dude, you're trying to bang Brenna, that's sweet. <laughs> She's one tough nut to crack. She is, but yo bro, I think you could be the nutcracker. No, that's, that's not the point, I just can't. Brian, don't be so low on yourself. Oh, come on dude. The beginnings of your names are so similar. Yeah, she, she likes all this artsy stuff anyway. She's gonna hey, love- hey. I was in a relationship for a really long time. What happened? Yeah, yeah, man, what, what went down? Did she clumber up another lad's ladder? Did she suck some other dude's cock? No. She just left me, right? That little bitch. How could she leave you, man? You're like so handsome. I think we should find her and then kill her. No, it's not. It's just hard, okay? Welcome to the Tower Cafe's first annual Poetry Slam. Uh, I'm Adam, I am the student manager of the Tower Cafe, and I'll be starting things off tonight with a little poem I like to call, Smile Please. Okay. <clears throat> they say it's the first thing people see, and the thing they most remember. Like dewdrops on the morning grass, or a red leaf in September. So let a smile move into your life, She's a very social boarder. She'll say, good morning, how are you? And can I take your order? This poem's called Cricky on a Biscuit. There's a cricky here upon my brand new biscuit. Codswallop, that is. There's a garden full of soil and lots of seeds. A butterfly lands soft on the dark soil. A flower is blooming. Thank you. Nice work. Oh, thanks. It's actually uh, the first poem I've ever written. You mean you've never written a poem before? So, my poem's called nope. Coffee's Not So Bad. Never. Never. Here it goes. Never, ever? One time my coffee burned me. It burned me really bad. I thought it was the final cup that I would ever have. But then I got to thinking, there's not just one kind of brew. There's Italian roast and French vanilla and Guatemalan too. Coffee can make you warmer on a cold and rainy day, and you can put it over ice and get cooled off that way. So I thought that it'd be worth a shot to give coffee another turn, because maybe this one would be better. Maybe this one wouldn't burn. Great stuff, Brian. Really, really great stuff. <laughs> Makes me want to buy a Guatemala coffee. <laughs> that was great. Thanks. Was that your first poem, too? What? Yep. She just started writing poems this afternoon. Who'd have guessed it? All right, so uh, this joint right here is called Ballad of the Bus Man, or uh, Why Alice Sucks. Uh, I need you to drop a beat. Uh, OK. Yeah, beat. Uh, <clears throat> Adam on the drums. Yeah. I'm the bus man, best in the land. 
I do what I can, put trash in the can. I got a big mop and I got a huge chalice, but that don't mean shit to asexual Alice. Oh, me and my homie Brian, we taking over the world, cracking nuts, getting guys. Sock, I mean girls, like Ruth, Brenda, and Adam, my three favorite hoes, like the N word with an A. But you know how that goes. I ain't got much left to say, but you know that I'm right. I'm the best of both worlds, like a hermaphrodite. This is blasphemy. Guys, open your eyes. There's no one here. There are no customers. Alice, what are you doing? This is a team effort. Says who? The MC of this first annual poetry slam? Which is impossible. Not that you give a damn, but what you mean is inaugural. They're two different things. How am I supposed to take this seriously when Josh is wearing that bling? Look. I know we're all a team, but why does complete idiocy have to be our main theme? No one ever comes in here, and my patience is tightening with all this constant fighting, forced uniting, bad poetry writing, and horrible lighting. Why can't anyone understand it when I say that sometimes I can't stand to work in this godforsaken cafe? Sorry, I totally let my Oliver get all twisted up. It's all right. I wrote the poem. No one made me do it. Night, Ruth. Jerry, Nutcracker. 